Good morning, everybody. This is Monday, week seven, day one. And it's kind of dark out here compared to when I normally record because it's um, quite overcast and possibility of some rain in a little while. But, um, which makes it, making it cooler this morning. Uh, I have a 35 minute jog this morning. Hopefully it will go well. I had a busy, super busy week last week and couldn't get my Friday and Saturday run in because we went to church camp. Um, had a blast. It was wonderful. And then yesterday, I didn't want to run right before today since it was supposed to be a rest day. I didn't want to make today even harder. And it was Father's Day. So, wish my husband a happy Father's Day. Um, so I'm not sure how today is going to go or the rest of the week. I know I've got some big runs at the end of the week. I was supposed to have a 40 minute run on Saturday, which I've never done before. Um, instead I've got a 40 run, 40 minute run on Wednesday with my fartlicks. So that'll be interesting. But I'm just going to just count on, you know, I've been running for a while and missing a couple of days is not going to hurt me. So we'll see how it goes. I'll let you know. Bye. All right, I'm back. <clears throat> well, you know, that that I said about um, it's supposed to rain later, well, I got rained on. And it was like right after I left here. <laughs> and uh, I said a little prayer, like, please let me get through this without it raining. And what happened? It started raining almost right after my prayer. So I took that as a challenge and didn't stop. It wasn't like super heavy. It was enough that I wanted to protect my phone. I had it kind of tucked in my the shirt tail, my shirt tail. But uh, it actually felt pretty good. I was really surprised based on how last week was, my schedule and everything. <clears throat> um, and then Wednesday is a 40 minute jog doing my fart licks. So hopefully that will go well. We'll see. I'll probably go out to the track again just so that, um, oh, my hand's in the way, sorry. Um, just so that I can run at a faster pace on a flat surface, but I'll have to see how I feel on Wednesday. But anyway, I uh, hope everybody's having a great week so far. And I will see y'all on Wednesday. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday. I'm in week seven, and this is my second run day. Uh, it's a fartlek day, and I've got five cycles to do instead of four like last week. So my total run time will be 40 minutes. So it'll be interesting since I have not run 40 minutes before, but it's not that much farther than what I've done in the past, so I should be okay, I hope. Um, I decided to come out to the track again. I think I may do my speed work, if you want to call this speed work, um, days at the track, just so that it's a nice level um, area for me to try to do some faster running intervals. So I'm going to get out here and get it done. I'll let you know how it goes. I'm back. I did it. Wow, that was kind of hard. Um, but I did it. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I do know that running out at the track um, is not as enjoyable. One, it's boring going in circles. But two, there's like hardly any shade. There's one shade tree on one side that provides some shade as you go around one of the corners. But it's not enough. And see, it's not even 9 o'clock, and it just seems so hot out there. Plus, the track is black, which I'm sure doesn't help. Makes my feet hot. So, I might consider doing my Wednesday fartleks in the neighborhood, or at the very least go to the park, where it's um, it's got some shade occasionally. Um, but on that, I did it. I've got to run Friday, but I don't I don't know how much it is. And then Saturday, don't quote me on this, but I think it's 45. And I just did 40. And that's with the fartlek. So hopefully with a nice steady pace, 
in my neighborhood, as long as I don't get up at 10 o'clock in the morning, I should be able to do 45. Uh, today was the farthest I'd ran, according to Nike Running. Um, it was 3.2 something miles. So that was good. But, uh, oh, I'm tired. So I'm going to go back to the house, get me Gatorade, cool down a little bit, and get to work. Thanks for everybody's support, and uh, I will catch you all on Friday. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Friday. This is my week seven, day three run. Yes, I'm actually going to get four runs in this week, I believe. I got one more tomorrow. Um, today is 30 minutes. I need to get out here and get my run done um, before my husband has to go to work. He's been so great to support me and be here and watch the girls for me so I can just run and not worry about you know what they're up to. But um, he's still in bed. I want to sneak out real quick. Not sneak. He knows I'm going out. But get my run in before he has to leave. So I will let y'all know how it goes. And uh, I guess that's it for now. Hey everybody, I'm back. That went alright. Um, my main complaint was around the two mile mark. Um, I started getting that pain, that stitch in my side. So I had to try to take big deep breaths to see if I could get rid of it. And it just lingered through the rest of the run, which is about a half a mile. But I did it and um, overall not bad. Um, the, being out here in the morning is much nicer. It's not quite as as hot as it is in the afternoons. And then tomorrow, I've got a 45 minute run, so hopefully that will go well. Anyway, I will get out of here and I will catch y'all later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday, week seven. Week seven, my fourth run. This is the first week I've gotten four runs in, and it's a big one. It's supposed to be 45 minutes. And I keep telling myself, oh, I can't do this because I've never done 45 minutes before. But on Wednesday, I did 40 um, out at the track, and that was my fart legs. So that was pretty hard. And this is just a regular run. So. I should be fine, and I'm just telling myself, one step at a time, and just set an easy pace, and I should be fine. So we shall see, and I will let you know. Alright, I'm back. I did it. Again. Um, that made me feel good. I was a little concerned when I started out that towards the end of my five minute warm up walk, my side started hurting. I was like, this is not a good sign. But not, it didn't start hurting real bad, but it was enough that it was like, I was unsure how the rest of it was going to go. So I just tried to take some deep breaths. And that's really what I had to do kind of throughout the run is just make sure I was breathing deep. And it still kind of bothered me throughout the run, but it wasn't enough that I really felt like I needed to stop. But I ran 3.56 miles, which is the farthest I've run, you know, since ever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and the Nike running app that I have, it's, I like it, but I don't. Um, I like that it tracks my average paces and my miles ran and it gives me goals to shoot for. Like right now, I'm trying to do a, you know, run so many miles in so many days kind of thing. So it gives me something to, to watch, and try to accomplish. But my my biggest complaint, right now at least, is that it keeps telling me like each time I run more than 5K, it tells me that that particular run, I'm flying my ear. That particular run was my fastest 5K, but each 5K is slower than the one before. So, you know, the first 5K I ran out, my mom's, was 36.56. And then the next 5K I ran was um, 
39 something and it told me it was my fastest 5k to date. I was like, no, my last 5k was faster than today. It said I ran my personal best on my 5k and I kind of got excited at first. I'm like, really? What was that? And I looked and it was um, 40 something or no, this one was 39 something. The one before was like 37 or something. But each time it's gotten slower. But I purposely went slower today knowing I had a 45 minute run. I wanted to make sure that I didn't use up all my energy too soon. So I purposely went slower. So anyway, that's my biggest complaint is that it's not accurate as far as comparing to previous runs. So anyway, but that's done. I did four runs this week. I'm excited. I feel good now <laughs> that it's all done. Um, and then I start with another four runs next week. Although I haven't really looked to see. I take that back. I did look. My fart legs next week. I've got a series of six air intervals. Or last week I had four. This week I had five. Next week I have six. So that'll be an interesting day for sure. But Hope everybody has a um, fabulous weekend, and that's it for this week, and I will um, have to see how next week goes. I um, wanted to say real quick, thanks to my husband. He has been a fabulous supporter, and he's been there for me um, to help watch the girls so that I can go out for my runs, and that's really made it a lot easier to um, not give an excuse or to, I don't know how to word it, but I can't give the excuse of, oh, well, I've got the girls, I can't go run. You know, he's here, I can get out, so there's no excuse for me to not run. So I really appreciate everything that he's done for me. I couldn't have done this without him for sure. But um, I love you, babe. And thank you for everything and uh, I guess that's it for now I'll talk to y'all later bye